So we begin today with a profile of an important University of Nebraska research facility that is dedicated to agriculture. We are talking about the Eastern Nebraska Research Extension and Education Center that is headquartered near the community of Mead. In this segment, we learn more about the unique facility from the center's associate director. Hi everybody, we are at the Eastern Nebraska Research Education and Extension Center and we are learning more about NREC and maybe you've not heard of this, it's really fascinating here. Joining me now is Joe Luck and Joe, it's good to see you. What is your role here? Yeah, so my role is I serve as associate director here. Um, a lot of the work I'm doing really mimics what my faculty position has been in ag technology um, and then not just thinking about cropping systems which we do a lot of here you know we have thousands of acres almost 10,000 acres um, but then expanding that into livestock production system which we also have a, a kind of commercial scale system here as well. I'm amazed when I come here it, there's so many acres here we are just south of Mead basically and east of Ithaca what goes on here I mean you said cropping systems is there livestock what what all goes on? Everything from, you know, we have a 3,000 acre farm operation that manages all the cropping systems. That doesn't count other units that are here, agronomy, forestry, um, our, our Husker breeding program for genetics and wheat. But we also have a livestock system here. Thousands of acres dedicated to rangeland for cow-calf operations. Um, a lot of people will know we just broke ground on the new feedlot innovation center that's going to get geared up for next year. Um, basically, I'll we'll have 5,000 head of cattle in that system. Um, so we're really working I, I, across the country. You kind of see other systems, other university systems, but I tell people we're really working at the farm scale, the ranch, the feedlot scale here, which I think is pretty unique. What is the end goal of NREC? What, what, what is the main goal for being here? For me, it gets back to the, the, the three-part mission. You know, we're conducting research, state-of-the-art technology development, um, not just on our own, we're partnering with industry to do that and develop and test and evaluate, but to me the key is the extension and education piece. We're really trying to get that knowledge out there for people to use. Um, we're trying to show farmers how we're putting these things into practice at a field scale, so hopefully that translates well to what they're doing in their operations, and maybe they can pick up some things to adopt to increase crop input use efficiency, increase profitability, and things like that. So to me, it's about supporting the educational and the extension elements. And, and it's really about helping the farmers here in our state. That's what we're here for. You know, we, we know that adoption of new technologies is risky. I think for me, and, and just in my history of working here in Precision Ag, that's something we can take on as a risk and we seek to do that so people can learn as we learn and try and share that out. Is there anything else we should know? We just continue to try and ramp up our communication. You know, we host a lot of field days, a lot of events here. We continue to try and share those opportunities out for not just farmers, ag industry professionals, crop consultants, folks like that. Again, to come in, um, listening is a, a key part of what we do as well because we want to know what the issues are, um, what do we need to be looking at to help folks take their operation to the next level. So we want those interactions, we wanna hear from people so that we can plan what to do next. Thank you, Joe, for being here today. It's a pleasure, thanks for visiting.